Hey everyone, welcome back to Rack Guys. Today we are hitting with the Babolat Pure Aero Rafa Origin. Before we get started, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons to keep up with all our latest content. Let's get started. It's about striving for perfection. On each move, each shot, each trajectory. It's about never giving up and always improving each detail. Ball after ball, match after match, victory after victory. This is how you become a legend. Start writing your own. If you've ever wondered what it was like to hit with a racket that's as close as possible to Rafa's spec, then look no further than the Origin. With a swing weight above 360, a really solid stiffness rating of 70, and absolutely no dampening technologies that you would normally find in the Pure Arrow, the Origin is as close as you're going to get to hitting with Rafa's personal specs in a stock frame. Not for the faint of heart, the high swing weight is a challenge to hit with, but offers incredible plow through. Let's get this on the court and see how it plays. Coming into this play test, I was actually quite worried about how I would play with the Babolat Pure Arrow Origin. My personal frame has a customized swing weight of 345, but that's nothing compared to the 371 of the Origin. I really thought that it would have been an absolute club to play with, but I was actually pleasantly surprised. Upon first impressions when picking up the racket, it actually feels like your standard frame. But once you start to swing, that's when you really feel this racket come to life. On ground strokes, I really felt at home with this frame, especially off the backhand wing. The amount of stability and plow through this racket has is truly unmatched. But the only thing I noticed was that timing is everything. Once you start your swing with the Origin, there's no stopping it. You can really feel that the racket accelerates through the ball, allowing you to hit some very heavy shots with little to no effort. With the Origin maintaining its 100 square inch head size, I also noticed on ground strokes the frame didn't quite play like your standard arrow. There was a noticeable drop in power and the frame had a much lower launch angle. This I really quite enjoyed as you were really able to flatten out your ground strokes and hit a deep heavy penetrating ball. Instead of a shot which relied more on net clearance and lots of spin to put your opponent in trouble. When it came to serves, I thought that I was going to have a hard time. I was actually worried that the racket was going to swing way too quickly and I would have framed every single serve, but luckily that wasn't the case. I was actually able to hit a much bigger serve with less effort than I'm used to. The origin really came to life when hitting an aggressive kick serve. You could really feel the racket accelerate through the air, giving the ball a lot of extra movement. There are many times where I find myself in situations where I slow down my racket head speed too much in order to compensate for accuracy. This racket had actually forced me to accelerate through my service motion and I actually think my service percentage were higher than usual. When it came to volleys, I could really see why this racket was built for Rafa. The way that this racket is meant to be moved for volleys is definitely his motion, short and compact. I found that anything else, the ball would have a little bit too much power and tend to sail along. The frame was very stable when it came to redirecting heavier shots and still quite maneuverable, even though the racket feels quite heavy at the head. It had some pretty good touch as well when at the net, you were still able to hit drop volleys, but I found that it was a little bit harder to get the softer feel and connection with the ball needed to sometimes hit that perfect drop volley. I would definitely have to say that if you're at the net with this racket, a crisp put away punch volley is the way to go. Overall, I'm so happy I got to try out the Origin frame. It was a really a joy to hit with. I think that Babolat did something pretty special here. After hitting with the racket, there's no doubt in my mind why Rafa can hit the ball the way he does. But this particular racket, I would definitely have to recommend to the high advanced level player. Like Richard, I was worried that the 371 swing weight of the Origin would be far too much for me to handle. Surprisingly, I actually think that I played my best tennis ever on video with this frame. On one hand, yeah, it was a lot of racket. Because of that high swing weight, it takes a lot more effort to get it moving and you really need to be a lot more active physically to prep early enough to really get it started along a good enough swing path. On the other hand, when you're able to prep early enough and you get the racket moving along a really good swing path, it hits like an absolute dream. 
At the start of our hit, before I was really fully warmed up, I found that I was actually missing a lot of balls low into the net. I thought mistakenly that the Origin has a lower launch angle and that I needed to just adjust. It took me a good probably half hour of hitting to realize that it really just, it was not the frame and that I really needed to focus on prepping early enough so that I could get the racket head below the ball enough to stop missing in the net. It's not something that I would usually need to be conscious about, but with the higher swing weight, I was definitely delayed in getting the racket below the ball and I had a much more level path until I figured that out and adjusted. Once I adjusted, I think I was hitting the best I have hit from the baseline in a long time. My forehands were big and heavy, and it's really not a surprise that I had no trouble handling any pace that Richard was giving me. With all the plow through on offer here, I felt really confident going for winners from basically anywhere and in any situation. I was concerned that I would struggle with the lack of maneuverability of the origin on volleys. Again though, it just took a bit of a slight adjustment to my prep to start to take advantage of the stability of the origin. I felt that I really had to try to emulate how Rafa hits his volleys. His technique is very short and compact, and while he is sometimes underrated as a volleyer, Rafa is one of the best at the net on the tour. When you keep it short and compact with the origin, the plow through and power of the origin can take over and it makes volleys feel almost too easy. Yes, when rushed or needing to make quick reactions, the origin is definitely more challenging to use, but it's so solid on contact that I actually found it quite forgiving when I was a bit late or not quite making clean enough contact. Serves was the only area that I really held myself back from trying to let the racket go. Typically, it's serving that aggravates my elbow, and trying to swing the origin at full speed through the serve motion was just something I didn't feel confident enough to do. The amount of power and spin that I was generating on the serve was great, but the higher swing weight it, in here was just a little too much for me. I do know from returning Richard's serve while he was using the Origin that he definitely enjoyed serving with it a lot. And I also tell you that it added a lot of revs to his serve. I was routinely having to try to return kick serves that would bounce almost completely over my head. Overall, I was very surprised at how much I enjoyed hitting with Origin. So much so that I'm actually considering tinkering with my own frames to try and capture some of that crazy plow through here. Having said that, I would really only recommend picking up the Origin as a collectible or maybe as something that you pick up and play with once in a while for fun. Thanks everyone for watching. If you have any questions about the Pure Arrow Rafa Origin or have suggestions of rackets that you want to see us review in the future, let us know down in the comments below. As always, the Pure Arrow Rafa Origin is available online at our Racket Guys website. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.